The parade was organized in line with Pride Month and to celebrate democracy and speak up for rights of LGBTQI plus community in Sri Lanka. The parade began in 2022 and is continuing for the second consecutive year. The amendment to the penal code which discriminalizes LGBT people at the moment um, uh, won't be unconstitutional. So this is a huge victory to the LGBT people and particularly the Supreme Court judgment talks about our dignity, our equal rights and our right to privacy. We are overwhelmed by that opportunity. Um, All the West is so advanced, I'm coming from France so I know what I'm speaking about. But actually I feel like for me Sri Lanka is more advanced. I feel that it's much more easy for me to be queer in Sri Lanka than, I, than it is to be in France. Yeah. I'm here celebrating Pride Month in Sri Lanka. All around the world we celebrate June month as LGBTQIA plus Pride. So we are celebrating this, we are doing the same in Sri Lanka and we are all coming together in peace and harmony celebrating this amazing month together. So happy Pride. LGBT rights are human rights. We all are equal human beings regardless of our sexual orientation, gender. We are human beings at the end of the day. So we all deserve human rights. We're here, here to just celebrate us, who we are, our sexualities, our gender, all of our various identities and just to be human. That's all we ask for from the government. Just treat us as human beings and not something different and like some extraordinary powers. That's not what we're asking for. So we all just want to love and just be ourselves. That's all we ask for. The Pride Month, which started in 1970, has still been going on. What is Pride and what is a month of Pride? In 1970, in the month of June, it was the first time in USA that the Pride Month took place where they openly talked about Pride. Now, they don't have to worry about their sexuality, their identity, and today in Colombo, you can see that we are celebrating Pride Month done by the Generation Pride. Reporting for the News First team, this is Kenza Farooq along with cameraman Varuna Sampath.